Hey everyone, my name is Pam and I want to welcome you to my channel, Kibi's Collectibles. My channel is all about thrifting to find home decor and items that I can resell in my booth. Today we are back in South Carolina at my local Goodwill store. So grab your coffee, grab your tea, and let's go shopping. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my channel and tap the little bell and set it to all. That way you will always be the first to know when I upload a new video. Plus, it helps my channel grow. I'm checking out these corn cob holders. They are the Holland Mold, so they're most likely vintage and a hobbyist piece. This first goose was signed and had a maker's mark, but the others did not, and they all looked a little bit worn out and rough in my opinion. Hmm. This human torso makes me think a science teacher must have retired, or maybe this was used for homeschooling. Either way, it is missing some of its vital organs. These shakers are cute and would be perfect for your Easter dinner table. Y'all, this is the third time this year I have found a brass duck lint brush. I wonder if they're good at removing dog hair. This is a vintage tin Christmas card list box by Stylecraft of Baltimore. I would have bought this, but it was really beat up with lots of scratches, so I left it behind. But check it, check out this lion's head. I think it is a bookend, and this is really a solid piece. It is so heavy, and it has a little chip on the front at the bottom, but it's not that noticeable. This platter gave me a starburst kind of vibe. It had that wheat pattern mixed in, and it was in really good shape. No maker's mark was on the bottom, but it definitely was a vintage platter. And this platter had a mid-century modern vibe to it, but I'm not a fan of still life. Look at this sweet little pink teacup. I believe it is part of the Lou Ray line, but I don't know who the maker would be. It is darling. I came upon these three stacking what looks like hat boxes. They were a decor item, but with that great storage factor to it. Definitely modern, but the color was not my style. I'm not a big fan of that yellow. They were at a great price, but I wondered if the tape would ruin them when trying to get it off. I was loving this little vintage winking owl. It was a candle that looks to have been dropped on its ear. See that it smashed a little bit? Poor little guy. It was made by Animal Delights. These candle holders were silver plated. I 
These cups and saucers were stamped Japan on the bottom, but no maker's mark. They were in great condition, and I liked them a lot, but decided to leave them for someone else. At first glance, I thought these were candle holders with a weird scallop shell base, but it turns out they were curtain tie-back hooks. Y'all, these wall plates were gorgeous. They were made by Raymond Waits Empire. There was a zebra and an elephant, and the price was a bit steep, but considering the original price was $35, then it was reduced to $25, $14.97 wasn't so bad if you're buying them for yourself. This candle holder was a beautiful porcelain piece made by Andrea by Sadiq. It was a beautiful hand-painted piece and in great condition. I just had to show you this leaf platter and how cheaply made some things are nowadays. And sadly, Goodwill is still trying to sell it for $6.97. Ooh, check out these dog bowls. They are a little too tall for my doggies. As you saw earlier, we have three small dogs. But these bowls would be great for maybe a medium-sized dog. I stopped off to check out the furniture and they had some pretty nice chairs, but Goodwill does not play around when it comes to their prices. This cup is from GOA India. It's on the western side of the peninsula and this cup is so unique. I really had to look all of this up to figure out where GOA was. It has the word sunshine on the bottom and it's obviously a souvenir piece but it was a fun find. I've never seen one of these before. This is a Louisville Stoneware Microwave Burger Maker. It's missing a piece that would sit on top of the burger that looks similar to a grill. These bulls caught my attention. I really like them a lot, but I don't know what they were made out of. They were lightweight, made in Taiwan, and they were in good condition. They were a bit too shiny for me, and I didn't feel 100% committed to buying them, so I decided to leave them for someone else to pick up and love.
The first thing I bought was the tiny pink teacup. I didn't find the saucer to go along with it, but I couldn't just leave it behind. I could try to sell it in my booth for a few bucks, or maybe I'll just use it in my spring decor. You saw me find one of these fabulous lion bookends, but you didn't see me score the second one on another shelf. I already had the first one in my cart and couldn't believe my luck when I found the matching pair. These are fabulous statement pieces. Although one has a tiny chip on the bottom, it just doesn't matter. I'll hang on to these for a while and try to figure out how I want to incorporate them into my decor. Thanks for shopping along with me today, everyone. If you enjoyed this type of content, please consider subscribing to my channel, leave me a thumbs up, and a comment down below. I really appreciate every one of you, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.